Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, we're going to be going over some interesting PlayStation news. If that sounds interesting, leave a like on the video and consider subscribing if you're new. It really helps the channel grow. The first topic in the video is about how PlayStation releases new footage of Horizon Forbidden West running on PS4. Reading from Game Rant, after showing PS4 Pro footage two weeks ago, PlayStation releases a new video that features Horizon Forbidden West running on a base PS4. Horizon Forbidden West is one of the biggest games of the year, and it comes out in less than 10 days. Sony is having a great start to 2022 as it has already released God of War on PC and Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection on PS5, with a highly anticipated Gran Turismo 7 launching early next month. Many presume that Horizon Forbidden West would be a PS5 exclusive upon its initial reveal. Later on, Sony clarified that Horizon Forbidden West, Gran Turismo 7, and God of War Ragnarok will also release on PS4. While developer Guerrilla Games had primarily focused on showing the PS5 version, Sony has just released a new video that shows gameplay from the PS4 version of Horizon Forbidden West. The video is just 22 seconds long, but it proves that Horizon Forbidden West will end up being a gorgeous looking game, irrespective of the platform. Titled Shrine Walk, the footage shows Aloy going for a short walk in a beautiful world. The description mentions that Guerrilla Games has shown gameplay from the PS4 Pro version of Horizon Forbidden West a couple of weeks ago, and the developer is now excited to share this glimpse of the game running on a base PS4. Although it is an extremely short clip, it is great to finally get gameplay footage from the base PS4 version of Horizon Forbidden West. Now that Sony has released footage of Horizon running on considerably weaker hardware, it seems like fans will have no complaints about the graphics no matter which platform they currently have access to. So yeah, I mean, Sony just continues to keep showing more and more gameplay of Horizon Forbidden West, and... You know, I haven't been watching every single clip that Sony has released of the game because I'm already... I've already been sold on the game and honestly I don't even want to see any more of the game until I actually play it you know so thankfully we only have like a week and a half left until we get to play the game finally you know so I haven't seen this new like 20 second clip you know but I'm sure it looks fine now I have seen the PS4 Pro gameplay and I mean it's not as good as the PS5 but it still looks really good you know like I feel like this game might like this game is really going to give the last of us part two a run for its money when it comes to the graphics you know we'll have to wait and see because obviously that game was like more linear and this is a full-blown open world game so i mean i'm just really excited to play this game you know obviously i'll be playing on a ps5 but how do you guys feel about this new base model ps4 gameplay have you seen it if you have are you impressed by it and also let me know down below in the comments if you'll be playing Horizon Forbidden West on the PS4 or PS5. Moving on to the next topic in the video, we're going to be talking about how The Wolf Among Us 2 will release in 2023, new trailer revealed. Reading from PlayStation Universe, The Wolf Among Us 2 will be releasing in 2023, Telltale Games claim today while revealing the first trailer. It'll be coming to both PS5 and PS4 and no further release window was specified other than just next year. The trailer shows everyone's favorite bad wolf pi attending what seems to be an anger management class sharing an experience about a night on the job from the trailer itself it definitely feels like this could be a great modern return for the wolf among us and for telltale games though we'll need to see a lot more before we can really make that call hopefully at some point soon we'll be able to play it ourselves perhaps through a demo of some sort before the end of the year that is if it will be coming towards the beginning of 2023 in any case there's no telling when a game could be delayed so best just to wait it out so yeah, I mean, I was hoping that this game would be coming out like the end of this year, but Telltale confirmed obviously with the first trailer for the second season that it's coming out next year. Now I do hope that it's like the first half of next year, maybe even like the first quarter, you know, but I wouldn't be shocked if it's like a second half of 2023. You know, I... Before I even played the first season of The Wolf, of the Wolf Among Us, I heard from like so many people that it's like really good you know so i finally checked it out i checked it out for myself the first time last year and i completely fell in love with it like it is really 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 good i cannot wait for season two i i just can't wait to see where they're going to take the story you know and yeah i just thought i'd let you know that the wolf among us 2 first ever trailer was dropped today and it will be releasing hopefully in 2023. 
Moving on to the final topic in the video, we're going to be talking about Days Gone director had ideas for an Uncharted prequel. Rating from Game Rant, after failing to get a Days Gone sequel greenlit, the director conceptualized a potential Uncharted prequel centered around a younger Sully in the 70s. Around the same time news broke that Sony had decided to not greenlit a sequel to Days Gone, it was also reported that developer Sony Ben Studio had instead been tasked on a brand new Uncharted game. However, the project never panned out and was ultimately cancelled, with Ben Studio moving on to something else entirely. While developers at Ben Studio had asked to be taken off the Uncharted project, there was a time when the studio was playing with the idea of making its own Uncharted game. More specifically, Days Gone director Jeff Ross had conceptualized one in the wake of Days Gone 2 not being approved. Speaking on the Sacred Symbols Plus podcast, Ross discussed his Uncharted plans, revealing that his game would have been a prequel that focused on a much younger Victor Sullivan, better known as Sully. He serves as, he serves as a mentor slash father figure to protagonist Nathan Drake and regularly assists him in his adventures throughout the series. Sully's solo adventure would have been set in the 1970s with him in his mid-20s. Ross theorizes that he would have been busted out of the Navy and be finding himself as a hustler working on the streets. He also would have evoked James Bond star Sean Connery with a 70s setting influenced by movies like Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and Joker, although Ross wouldn't have lent to the cheesier parts of that decade. Ross admits that his concept didn't lend itself to many opportunities for shootouts. Gunplay has been a key aspect with the Uncharted games since the first one and Ross didn't want to be the one to make the first game in the series where players didn't shoot anyone. This wasn't the only places in IP Ross played ideas with. Previously he mentioned that he also pitched an open world resistance game, but Sony wasn't interested. Apparently someone suggested to him that Bend do something with Siphon Filter, but Ross rejected it due to, due to a lack of ideas and interest in the IP. Considering Ross is no longer with Bend or Sony, his Uncharted prequel will likely never come to be. Even though the series appeared to come to an end with Uncharted 4, there remains hope that Naughty Dog will return to it within Uncharted 5. The studio has teased a possible return, but nothing concrete has been announced so far. In the meantime, fans will have to make do with a live action movie starring Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg as Nathan and Sully respectively. So yeah, I thought this was extremely interesting. You know, I've heard like rumors in the past of like, you know, like what if they made like an Uncharted game with like Sully as the main character, you know, and I never really thought about it, but I will like obviously we all know Sully as like this old older guy you know like a mentor to Nathan you know but like I mean Sully at one point in his life he was young obviously so I mean I mean the idea of like a prequel to the first Uncharted where like we play as like a 25 year old Sully you know and like his own little adventure I would totally be like I think that would be really cool and interesting you know, but one thing they do say in the article is that, like, you know, Jeff Ross wouldn't have really used any gunplay in the game, you know, and that doesn't make sense to me, obviously. You know, I kind of understand why it got rejected because, I mean, pretty much the main thing when you hear, when you think of Uncharted, the main thing you think of is, like, the gameplay and, like, the crazy action sequences. So, like, imagining, like, an Uncharted game with, like, just stealth and not a whole lot of like crazy levels and levels and stuff like that that doesn't that doesn't really go together you know so i mean yeah i mean if this ever did happen and it was like an actual like uncharted game by naughty dog you know because keep in mind i don't want anyone else to make an uncharted game unless it's naughty dog i don't really trust anyone else you know so yeah i mean apparently this did get canceled so we'll probably never see this you know actually become a thing because this was jeff ross's idea and he no longer works for sony anymore so yeah i thought i'd just let you guys know about you know apparently jeff ross almost made a uncharted prequel but what do you guys think down below let me know how you feel if he was allowed to make uncharted prequel would you be okay with you know like it being based around a young sully do you think that would be interesting or do you feel like Maybe they should have gone with like, like a game that sets, that takes place after the events of Uncharted 4. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, drop it a like and consider subscribing if you're new by turning on the post notification bell so you don't miss my next upload. Until next time guys, take care.